Hey guys, Shadney back. It has been a month. Well, over over a month. But I am back. I have several videos that I just need to do the voiceovers on and they will come up. Um so this one all of these I have I created the layout a while ago and filmed it and everything. And yeah, I just haven't gotten around to doing the actual voiceovers or the editing. Um, so the first thing I've done on this, I um, took some of these tickets that are in the shop and my, uh, what are these called? The fringe scissors. And I'm just cutting some fringe on these ticket strips. They're kind of perfect because they're just about an inch wide. So they're that perfect width for fringe anyways. But I thought it was just a fun different take on using these tickets. And because the pictures are baseball related, you have to have tickets to go to the baseball game. So it was a whole thing. I mean, I love tickets anyways, but it all just kind of went together. Then I pulled out this Dina Weekly. Uh, mist. I'm not sure what color it was, but it's like a navy kind of color and it has a very subtle shimmer in it. <clears throat> it's not very shimmery, just very, very subtle. You can only tell when it's in the bottle for the most part, but um, yeah, it's just a nice navy color. And then I'm going to take the tickets and I'm going to stitch them down on the paper. Um, so I, you'll just kind of see back and forth. Um, I did wink till the ink was completely dry. I just cut that part out, but, um, and then I just stitched each row of tickets down with a row of stitching. And then, um, whenever I start at the bottom and then work your way up. So you don't have to worry about like lifting the tickets up or anything to get to the under layer. So you start at the bottom and work your way up. Okay, so once all of that stitched down, I also did stitch one across the top corner up there just to give another area to embellish and pull some of that around the page. And then I've got my two photos. Um, and then at this point, I wanted to pull in some stuff from the this, what's it called? Uh, Maggie Holmes sticker book. I'm so out of the loop, just so y'all know. Um, I'm going to forget all sorts of things. It's a It's an ADHD thing anyways, but... I haven't done this in so long. I'm just going to forget words and I apologize. It's just is what it is. Um, but I pulled out this Maggie Holmes sticker book and I'm trying to incorporate more stickers into everything. Cause I just don't really think about them for the most part. Um, and it seems kind of weird cause baseball and rough and tough and especially India's face in one of these pictures. Cause she was yelling. <laughs> about the baseball game she was trying to cheer him on so she has this awful look on her face and um yeah so it's just kind of funny but I did definitely go ahead and add some flowers <laughs> make it all girly and pretty um I will say I've I really really enjoy the whole uh the weirdness of it <laughs> I don't know how to explain it like the contrast of stuff you wouldn't expect. I don't know why, but that is just my jam. So, um, I do like the flowers and then the, the colors just don't really quite, wouldn't be what you would typically put together, but I don't know. It makes me happy. So that's where we're at. And I don't know if you noticed, um, I never got around to talking about it. Um, I got tattoos for my mother's day slash birthday. And I haven't been on video since then, which is crazy and really long time. So, but um, if you'll notice, I have one on my ring finger and then one on my wrist. And if you've ordered anything from the shop in June, um, the, the thank you gift that I put in the little thank you envelope thing, um, was an elephant, a peace sign, and a heart, and it was because those are the tattoos I've got in my wrist. So, not anything really big, but I just thought it was something I should explain because people are probably wondering why those are in there. Um, and then I pulled out a bunch of the wood veneer pieces from June's release. Um, it's already July, and I have not released anything because it kind of snuck up on me. Um, but probably 
on the 4th of July, I'll do a small release, uh, that Sunday. What's today's Friday. So maybe on Monday, we'll see. It'll be eventually. I'll do one. Um, and I'll try to do a video and show y'all what I'm adding to it. It won't be a big one or anything. Um, but I, so for June's release, I did a ton of sports goodies. Uh, and most, most of the sports sets had a title set and a player set. So like the baseball set, it came with that big baseball title and then a bunch of baseball pieces. And then it came with baseball players. I mean, then in a separate set, there was baseball players. So most of the sports sets have both. Um, not all of them necessarily, but like the wrestling and the hockey, I don't think they have players, but there's volleyball, wrestling, hockey, cheer, dance, um, baseball, basketball, soccer, football. The football players are so cute, by the way. Um, and then there's epoxies for, um, the major ones, baseball, uh, football, soccer, basketball, and volleyball. So those are in the shop. Um, but anyway, so I pulled out a bunch of the baseball stuff, including the little baseball epoxies up there. You can see in that little divided, uh, ceramic tray, I've got all the baseball stuff in there. And then, um, I'm just going through and adding extra goodies. Trying, oh, sorry. Um, the title and stuff I got from this, a uh, thicker set from the to Maggie Holmes collection and it, it was the beachy collection whatever it's called um I can't remember it right now but from a couple of years ago and the thickers I wanted to do that let's go just because that's most likely what India was yelling in that picture of her being goofy um was let's go and so I uh use that. And then I just pulled out, um, that summer vibes because this was taken in the summer, but it was a nice way to add in that Navy and that shiny glossy into another area on the layout. And as well as some of those little, um, hearts from that set as well. And then these little baseball players I added in, in three little areas right there to kind of tie them together um the three clusters to do the little visual triangle right there um and then I'm just going to add some more little doodads and whatnots um the baseball epoxies I um, am using um stampin up stampin dimensionals for those uh they, if you've never used them, okay, so Stampin' Dimensionals are the best in the entire world. If you need foam adhesive, they're super thin, um, and they're hexagony, so they work really well with rounded shapes, but also for things that have, like, squared off sides and stuff, and for some reason, and for me, I feel like the hexagon and the thinness of it, it keeps it where, no matter where you place the dimensional it you don't have to worry about your paper like sagging or especially like photos and stuff you don't end up with those weird creases whenever it kind of sags a little bit um so yeah and then I again like I said I'm trying to use up these mag this Maggie Holmes not use up but use more of these sticker books so I went in and pulled out all the little navy hearts and sprinkled those around and it just had a nice little um, sprinkly effect of it. And then I'm going to pull out these little, uh, what are they called? Epoxy? No. Puffy. Puffy hearts. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, yeah. Um, the puffy hearts from Ellie Studio and just added some of those, the like darker colored pink ones around. And it just, I think it helps pull out that darker colored pink where it says Dodgers um, in Oklahoma City, that is our baseball team right now. Growing up, it was the 89ers. And then um, when I was, I don't know, a young teenager, 
they got switched over to the um, Red Hawks. And then just recently the Dodgers bought our team. So now they renamed them the Dodgers, which is, I don't particularly like, but just because <laughs> I don't like change. So <laughs> I just don't want things to change. Um, but still it's this, I mean, it's the same, it's baseball, it's the same stadium and everything. So it's not like it's a big deal or anything, but, um, and then I pulled out, these are from Pretty Little Studio, um, just the little tiny word strips and just added some of those around and they're in a nice, like navy, teal navy that works really well with these other ones. And then I'm going to add my date there, um, and that little label sticker, and then just add a little bit of journaling. And that's pretty much it. Um, I am really aiming to be posting videos at least twice a week. That's my goal right now. Um, I, there's, I've just not been feeling it lately. I don't know why. I just can't make myself do anything. Um, so that's why I've not had any videos lately. But I am trying to get back into normalcy and trying to, you know, get get back to real life and <laughs> not live eternally like it's a Saturday. So um, it has been a little bit hard because Phil's been working from home every other week and India's home all the time. Um, and I've not actually been at home at all by myself. Um, so it's been kind of hard to do voiceovers or anything like that. Uh, but India is um, at a play date right now. So I'm at home and Phil, it's his off week. So he's at work. And so I actually had time to do a voiceover. So I'm going to try to do a couple so that, um, you'll have some stuff coming this week and next week. So, and then I pulled out these sequins. Um, it's the sequin mix that's in the shop right now. It's just like, um, mints and aquas and teals and rose gold maybe like a champagne -y kind of gold not really rose gold I guess it's like a champagne kind of gold so but that's pretty much it I just kind of sprinkled those around and just yeah and used all the different colors and stuff um it just gives it some nice sparkle and shine and yeah so thanks guys so much for watching thanks for hanging around even though I've not really been here at all. Um, I'm also super behind on watching other YouTube videos. I haven't actually watched a YouTube video probably in a month, um, which is so weird. Like it was such a huge part of my life for a while there. Um, so I just kind of dropped off the face of the planet. Um, but I am back. I'm trying to get back to normal. Um, and yeah, so hopefully there will be more videos. I have several more that are coming that are ones that I've recorded a while ago and just haven't done the voiceovers yet. So hopefully that won't be too difficult to get those voiceovered and posted. So um, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day uh, and happy scrapping. So bye guys.